Hi there, my name is Killjoy and this is Blind Date. Blind Date is a visual novel dating sim sort of deal, I guess. It's been a long time since we've been on a date. And, uh, and we've forgotten how, I guess. So let's get into it. Oh, is this me? That looks like me. You check your phone. She's ten minutes late. You're not sure what to do, and discomfort starts to settle in your stomach. It's only ten minutes. Relax. Eat some bread. Drink some wine. Take a shit in the bathroom. You're fine. Ah, uh, let's take a sip of water. You sip your water. It's warm. Throw some ice in that shit. Mysterious woman who just appeared out of nowhere. Hey, I'm sorry I'm late. My car's in the shop, and I had to take the tram here. Um, let's see. What kind of, what, what would I respond with? Shit happens. I suppose it does. Oh, okay. So, I'm Karen. I know your friend Rebecca. What's your name? None of these are my name. Do I have other options? I don't have other options, so I'm either Joshua, Will, or A.A. Ron. I know that's Aaron, but I, I like A.A. Ron better. So I'm gonna go with A.A. Ron. Oh wait, there's, there's, like, the, oh I can scroll, I probably had more names. Shit. Oh, cute name. Tell me, what do you do? Well, let's see here. I'm a software developer for a company that makes a, a DO9, or DOG. Oh, that's a G. Face filters for selfies. Oh shit, you're the cancer of the earth. I'm a door-to-door -door team leader for sun life and nutrient enhancements. Okay, so nobody likes you. I used to work in mobile apps, but now I've started uh, trading crypto instead. Okay, so you're unemployed. Me, I push papers for the man, clock in and out, hour lunch break, 9 to 5. Kill me. Well, at least you got a staple job. We'll go with that one. The world is like a huge machine that needs all the cogs and gears inside the function. Gotta remember that these are G's and not 9's. You work for the man. It's not the worst. That's fair, but it doesn't make the job much more tolerable. Are you calling me a cog? Are you calling me a cog? I'll go with that. <laughs> if the wingnut fits. You seem nervous. Are you okay? Let's see, what kind of options we got? I'll admit I'm just a little bit. It's been a very long time since I've been out. Longer still since I've been on a date. Well, might as well be honest. Starts conversation, right? That's alright. It's been a long time for me too. My friends from work are particularly begging me to do this. It's been a very lonely year. Karen offers a sheepish smile. Smile. I can't say words today. So where are you from? From womb to tomb, I like that. It rhymes. Been living in the city my whole life. I moved here when I was a kid, and I don't remember much of where I used to live. I couldn't say. I'm still a tourist. Moved here a few months ago. Probably this one because it rhymes. <laughs> really? Me too. I love the skyscrapers, the ocean, everything about this place. I'd say it's probably one of the best places to live in. Sounds like you've had a lot of good experiences. I'm rather indifferent to it. Actually, I could stay or go. Wow, and here I think the city's a trap. I've been trying to get out of here since high school. I'd say, okay, we'll just we'll go with indifferent. Why is that? It's just a place to live for me. Nothing beyond that. I guess if I were to pick something, I'd pick that. I can understand that. Home is where the heart is. Yours seems to be missing. Sorry, what? So, who was your last lover? That's kind of... That's, that's kind of that's soon, don't you think? Excuse me, that's a little inappropriate. I'd prefer to keep that to myself. We'll just... I'll just say that's a little inappropriate. Karen releases an apologetic sigh. I'm sorry. That was rude of me. Like I said, it's been a while since I've been on a date. And I'm not very good at interacting anymore. It's fine, just look at me longingly.
uh, laugh nervously. I understand. I've been out of commission for a while too. We'll go, we'll go with that one. Thank you. You're, you're welcome, I guess. I really appreciate you taking me out. This is a very nice restaurant. I was reading the reviews on the way over. Ah, uh, let's see. The view is really cool, isn't it? So I'll just go with the view is really cool. We gotta we got make conversation, man. That's so sweet. I'm surprised you haven't been on a date before. I, 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 I have... Okay. Once. So how's Cassandra doing? I... Uh, excuse me? Do you seriously not remember your own mother's name? Oh. How do you remember? <laughs> um... I do, but you're starting to freak me out. No, wait, the question is actually, how do you know her name? I'm getting wafts of a serial killer vibe over here. Okay, how do you know her name? Karen pauses for a moment. Had you not mentioned her before? No, I hadn't. Karen glances upward, thinking. I'm so sorry. My friend at work mentioned her. Apparently, you, she used to work for the company, and I thought you'd said it. Uh, it is kind of a weird con coincidence, but I suppose it makes sense. No big deal. It's like getting wires crossed in your head. I feel a little dumb now. Uh, it's okay. Why are you here? What the I thought we were having a, a, a date. A da -da -da -da. You know, a, a nice dinner at a diner and a date. In a restaurant? A da 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 da, you know. Um, I've been trying to have a nice date. I'm really beginning to question that. You mean like, existentially? I guess I'd, I'd say I'd ask uh, that, that one. The music's getting kind of fucked and this woman's face is evaporating. I'm worried now. Sort of, but not really. Then what do you mean? Why are you here? On this date? What made you come here today? Um, why are you doing all this? Okay, seriously, what's your problem? I'm honestly at a loss for words. Why are you doing all this? You've been living alone for nearly three years now. That's a long time to be alone with your thoughts. What does the voice sound like? The one that eats away every day of your miserable existence. What the hell is wrong with you? God, you're pathetic. The way you drink, the way you sleep, your disgusting habits when you think nobody's watching. Come on, knock it off. I could see you shaking all the way from the entrance. Did you really think someone would actually want to come and meet you? That woman disappeared and she took the table with her. She'd probably call the police. Um... I just don't want to be alone anymore. I can't handle it. Oh boy. Okay. We're turning into a horror game. You'll always be alone. No matter what you try and do about it. You really think anybody could ever reasonably love you? Um, probably. Yeah, I don't deserve to be treated like this. But you do. You have nothing of value to offer to anyone. And the only way anyone would love you is if they treat you like I'm treating you now. You're a pile of human garbage. A reject. Thrown out and cast aside as you rightfully should be. You hate yourself and hurt everyone around you. And yet you feel like you're owed the right to be lonely? Well, I can repeat, shut up. Or I can say I can't take it anymore. I just feel so empty inside. We'll do the, we'll do the shut up. You've been dead inside for years. Maybe even your whole life. I've seen you eyeing up the pills in your medicine cabinet. And every time your cowardice wins out. I need help. I need to be loved. I need to get the fuck out of here. Can I go with all of the above? Is that an option? Is there like a secret fourth hidden option here somewhere? Well. I need to get the fuck out of here. There's eyes in the fucking corner over here, I see that. What you need is to realize just how insignificant you are in the grand scheme of your own life. How feebly your voice resonates. You're right, you're wrong, 
You're fucking insane. You're wrong. Can you honestly say that I am, though? Can you genuinely look in the mirror and see something other than a pathetic, squirming, lonely child who only exists to be miserable? Please, I'm begging you, stop saying these things. Why are you saying these things? I don't even know why I came here tonight. I'm not going to beg. That's stupid. So why are you saying these things? I'm sorry. I know I sound angry, and I am. But it's not because I hate you. I just hate looking into your eyes and only seeing pain day in and day out. You're hollow. You're on a blind date. You should be happy to be here. Be talking to me. And yet, you look so hollow. I just want to be loved. I just want to be accepted. Or I just want to be happy. I just want to be happy. We all want something. But unfortunately, you don't deserve that. This was a mistake. You shouldn't have come here. You should have stayed home. Ordered a pizza. No reason to take this abuse from me. I can never fix everything that's fucked up about you anyway. But you can. But you should. But you won't. Hmm. This one's kind of interesting. I don't agree with option two there. It's like I'm fighting with my own subconscious. Named Karen. That's weird. But you won't. I never will. I'm not going to just magically fix your problems. If anything, I just make them worse. I'm not the solution. I'm the problem. You're the problem. You get in the way of your own happiness. You were my obsession. I followed you your whole life. I've never seen someone so unhappy. So what do I do now? Could I ever be happy? Or, why do I do this to myself? Why do I do this to myself? I honestly don't know. That's something you'll have to figure out alone. You're not fit for a relationship. You shouldn't have to rely on a blind date to be here. You should be able to meet people on your own. You shouldn't have come here. God, you're a mess. None of this should have happened. I'd say I've made things worse, but you were already a mental wreck before you walked in here. That's just what I am. Why would you know that? I'm sorry. I don't feel like I should apologize. So I'm gonna say, that's just what I am. Let's just do some acceptance here then, I guess. It hardly matters. You need to realize that nothing's going to change. That a girl isn't going to change anything. One may come into your life every once in a while. But you'll just be back where you are now. The underlying problem never gets fixed. Does it ever end? Will it ever get better? Will I ever find love? Well, let's just ask if it ever ends. No, it doesn't. You lead a barren, desolate life. Does this scare you? Does it terrify you? Because it should. You are alone. Completely. Utterly worthless. You shouldn't have come. Your life is just going to be one endless stream of misery that only ends in your inevitable death. Faced with all of this, with your loneliness, with this abuse, what are you going to do? I'm going to stay, or I'm going to leave. That's a tough fucking choice. She's a fucking gun. I'm going to stay. Oh? You, you, you challenge me here. You're, you're fucking with me. And to me, I, 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 gotta, I gotta stay. What you're saying isn't anything I haven't told myself a thousand times. Keep going. I like the abuse. Well, the first one's probably the honest one, and the second one's probably just a, 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 a tough guy approach. I don't know. We'll go with the first one. I want to help you. I want you to recognize this, this horrible thing you are. 
Didn't anyone ever tell you that tough love never works? Sure. Yeah. I recognize it. I'm gonna go with option one. If you don't mind my boldness, then tell me. What do you dislike most about yourself? Let's see. What we got? Not good at anything. I don't know what to do with my life. I never finish anything I start. If we're going for... If I'm, if I'm choosing based off me... And, and myself and everything. Of these three things, I will say the third. I never finish anything I start. And, ooh, we got more. I'm not as far as I could be if I tried harder. I wish I had more motivation. I feel so left behind. For me, that would probably be the first one. Hmm. When you tell me I'm worthless, you're preaching to the choir. Might as well be talking to myself that I probably am. Karen's smile is grim. Dot dot dot. Oh boy. Dot dot dot. I never left my apartment, did I? You're very nervous. Your shirt's soaked. I... Karen waits for you to finish. Everything you said to me. Do you really think she's going to grill you like this? Is this normal? Why would she dislike you? She doesn't even know you. My apartment is disgusting. Um, I don't, I don't think it's because I deserve it. I don't know what to believe. I think you know this isn't right. I think you know that these thoughts are all your own. The pain is real, but is anything else? At what point are you holding yourself down because you're afraid to get up? I don't get two options here. You're right, I'm afraid, but why shouldn't I be? Her opinion has to matter because if it didn't, what's the point? I don't want to be afraid. What do I even have to lose? Honestly, second option is probably the best. I'm gonna go with that. What do I have to lose? Come on, goofball. You're late for your date. Did I get a happy ending? I'm alive. And I'm, and I'm gonna date. That's good. Apparently there's eight endings in this. But, uh... Each, to get to each one is about 20 minutes. I think. Because this was about 20 minutes. So I, I don't think I'll be, uh, I'll be doing that. But I'm satisfied with what I ended up with. This was an interesting game. Kind of a introspective take on things in the end. And I like that. I like it when a game can go sort of meta.